Cook It Raw has grown to become an amalgamation of the greatest contemporary thinkers in the world of gastronomy. At each gathering, the chefs bring their unique knowledge to the table, and with what they learn and find on location, compose a dinner that acts as an ode to the environment that has hosted them. The chefs will arrive in Japan, and will leave the neon of Tokyo behind and visit the prefecture of Ishikawa. Here they will combine their arts and skills with the local ancient ways that remain prominent today, ways that are intrinsic to Japan. The Road to Roar is a series of short films that follow the creators of Cook It Roar as they discover the depths of Ishikawa Prefecture and find the path that would lead to Shokudo, the way of food. Satoyama, the Japanese term that defines the line between the livable land of man and the natural land of the mountain. Finding a wild playground for our chefs to forage in is an integral part of each Crooked Roar event. Narisawa-san takes us first to a beach on the Kaga coast. The hot wind from the Sea of Japan is constant, and the rubbery vegetation that clings to the sand adds an alien feel to the landscape. A local woman guides our group down the coastline to find a plant called Hama Bofu, the wind catcher. Hama Bofu, wow, fantastic plant. It's very interesting, quite bitter. Saline and bitter, very, yeah, very much yeah. bitter in the end. I think that uh, the, the flavor will change uh, when we're here in November, actually. We leave the coast behind and head up the mountains through fields that snake their way up the hills and are surrounded by natural walls of temperate pine and tropical bamboo. The division between the flat order of the fields and the steep chaos of the forest is where Satoyama is to be found. Local farmers cross the line of Satoyama to find plants and roots that bear sharp flavors unobtainable in their fields. One of the more interesting discoveries is a plant called Miyoga, which looks and tastes like a cross between an artichoke and ginger. Mmm, very spicy, huh? We find Sancho, that has a flavor of green pepper crossed with lime. Very fresh, extremely it refreshing. It completely cleans up the palate. We head down by the stream to find the elusive wasabi, which eaten here bears little or no resemblance in flavor to the green paste found in the city. All the team of the chefs uh, will arrive in Japan. I can hardly wait to see them foraging, picking up herbs with, within this land, this magical forest. This November, the farmers will invite us to cross the line into Satoyama for our annual Cook It Raw forage. 